This was all uh, my sister-in-law, um, Lelia Parma. It was all of her concept. She came up with the idea. She's going to be the one strapped into the ceiling, dancing all around from the, you know in the air on the walls. Um, she and my brother really sort of um, put this all together, and we would, you know, my mom and my sister and our friend Jason Ziven, we all would meet every Sunday at my mom's house and discuss and try to figure out how to put this all together, and we all called in as many favors as we could, and, um, you know, hopefully we're going to be able to raise a lot of money and, and spread awareness. A lot of people, a lot more people know about it now. Yeah, because it's a great event. Yeah. Oh, thanks. sitting down and that's where you all come in and by buying a ticket and being here tonight you're joining in this fight against this disease so that we can make the other line uh, that's my favorite line in this film come true which is when Bryce says that knowing you it could be never um, we are so close to finishing this disease it's not just this money doesn't just go to taking care of people who, who have it it goes towards research and you'll hear it later, um, there, there have been so many breakthroughs and every single person in this room is part of getting rid of this disease from the human race forever. Yeah. So when our children read about it, you know, you know, it's like when we read about things that, are, that we don't have to deal with anymore, uh, uh, it'll be like that and you will know that you had a part in that, and that is as meaningful to me as it possibly could be. Um, and uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, Lelia and my, my brother and my sister and my mom and, and Mariana, everyone, and Jason Zivin, and everyone who donated, and all the volunteers, thank you so much. I, I can't even believe that this is real. <laughs> it feels like a, a, a dream. Um, so thank you so much. And all you guys. Um, thank you so much. Uh, thank you guys all for coming and what Jason said is true. Everything that you have given by giving your ticket donation has meant that a hundred percent of that goes to research and so we're so grateful and we also feel like we're a little bit of a wee army because I think that the energy in this room this evening is exceptional and Lucy Walker, who's the documentary filmmaker who made this film, is um, having a birthday today. It's her birthday on this day, and she's incredible. She's made so many amazing docs, and she uh, was nominated for Oscars for them, and she's, um, she's English, she's so cool. And, um, 
she uh, she made another film called The Crash Reel that you guys should check out too. And I wanted to to just say that um, there was a moment last year where I felt like everything was kind of over and I felt like nothing was really left. And then um, I sort of thought, you know what, actually maybe that's exactly where I should be and that's, um, and that maybe I could have everyone come together in some kind of way to start a kind of new change because it's such a fucked up disease. Sorry to be Scottish and swear, um, <laughs> but it's really horrible and my dad is dying of it right now in Scotland and he has really nice nurses and he has, um, he worked his whole life as a very wealthy businessman and he paid so many taxes in Scotland and he has a chandelier in his hospital room <laughs> but he would have had a chandelier in his hospital room if he was a plumber or if he didn't have a job um, and that's the National Health Service in Scotland being very dignified and nice to him um, and so it's true that it's sort of like a ticking talk, a uh, ticking clock. What is ticking talk? Mean? That doesn't mean anything. Um, it's, it's, it's a tick. We got it. a ticking talk. Thank you. <laughs> it's true that it's a it's a time issue um, for 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 him and for and for this generation and for other people who have the disease um, running in their family. But I feel like we're such a big family tonight, and we can really make a difference in a new way. Thanks to all of you amazing people, and I love each and every one of you because that's how I feel about it right now. <laughs> and I would like to invite Louise Venter, who's the CEO of the Huntington's Disease Society. I'm Louise Venter, and I'm the CEO of the Huntington's Disease Society of America. And just to echo everything that you've heard this evening, every single penny raised tonight goes to fight Huntington's disease. And we are fighters in this fight with us. Um, the best antidote to the lion's mouth and all of the fear that Huntington's disease has with it is fighting it head on through action. And that's what the Huntington's Disease Society of America does. We provide help for families who are going through it today, but always with a forward-looking future towards a day when Huntington's disease has no teeth when it is not a disease to fear, when it is something that is treated and eventually vanishes. It is my dream that I don't have a job. <laughs> that there is no HDSA because Huntington's disease no longer exists. And we are getting closer. In fact, I leave tonight and head to a science meeting just a few hours away in Palm Springs where the best and the brightest in HD science are meeting to talk about the progress that's being made. Right now there are no less than 10 pharmaceutical companies working very, very hard on drugs that could stop Huntington's disease in its tracks. And there is nothing more that we want than for them to be successful in their quest to put an end to this. So I've always been a believer that every single small action adds up to something big and really powerful. And every dollar that we're able to give as an organization to the fight against Huntington's disease will keep a researcher at their lab bench a minute longer to sit there that extra minute to look at an extra petri dish, to review a different set of data, whatever clinical measurement they're looking at, but who knows what minute in time that breakthrough will happen. I want those people working on it every single day, and the dollars we raise helps them do that. So thank you all for being a part of this. Thank you, Mariam, for being so brave. so many who are living in fear and in secrecy, this is really a ray of light, and we are honored to be partners in this fight.